Hello, my name is Susie. Welcome to my channel. And for today's video, we are watching Jaws. I love Jaws. Uh, I'm sure you all know what Jaws is about. If you don't, what rock have you been living under? But basically, it is a shark horror film. And I feel like that's really all that you need to say about this one. Um, so, obviously, I said I love Jaws, but I will let you guys know my more in detailed final thoughts after I watch. Watching Jaws. Man, I forgot this movie's like two hours long. Whew, this is a long film, but of course, it was a great time. This movie's so fantastic. I don't really know what to say about this one. I feel like we've all probably seen Jaws before. If you haven't, I guess I will elaborate on it a little. It's basically about this. Uh, sheriff who has just moved to Amity. If I say Amity Villa at any point, I apologize, but he and his family have just moved to this small island town where summer is like the big tourist attraction time for this island. Um, so of course, great time to get a shark. Uh, and <laughs> Basically, the first kind of night of when people start coming in, there is a shark attack, uh, and of course, this new sheriff wants to do the right thing and immediately shut down all of the beaches while they figure it out. But the mayor and all of you know the townspeople are very much against it because, I mean, understandably, it is their source of money. But they still put people's lives at risk, um, and it's not until the little boy is killed about a week, I guess it's a week after the first attack, um, that they actually start to take it more seriously. They kind of momentarily shut down the beaches uh, and offer a reward, which of course brings out tons of people, and they end up catching a tiger shark. Uh, but they have this, like, shark expert that's like, eh, it could be, but it's not likely. Let me, like, open up the shark and find out. Um, which, of course, eventually they do. And he's like, yeah, not the right one. Um, but it's the 4th of July. And so, again, it's a big time for this small beach town. And so they leave it open. And, of course, there's another attack. So... <laughs> Uh, that's really what this film's about, is big old, uh, it's a great white shark, which is like, those things are fucking huge. Uh, they're probably the ones you guys mostly see on, like, Shark Week, uh, which I have never really watched any of that. I know Shark Week's like a big thing for a lot of people. I've never really gotten into it because I love sharks. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, uh, I thought it was only in a appropriate that I wore my shark onesie for this review. Yes, it has a fin. It also has a big fin on the back. Um, I, <laughs> as you can see, love sharks. Um, and I do love this film, but, <laughs> and I don't blame the film for, completely for people being scared of sharks. I mean, I'm sure there's people, uh, that, I'm sure that's a long-running thing, uh, even before Jaws, but it's definitely uh, credited for a lot of people's fear of sharks, which I don't really think is fair. Um, and I mean, that's not to say that this film isn't like terrifying. Of course, it is, uh, and I can definitely understand if you don't know anything about sharks uh, and Jaws is all you know. But it can definitely be quite terrifying. Um, back to actually talking about the 
so the first half is kind of about that, like them, the politics of it all, figuring out what to do, um, and then they have, of course, the big attack, and then the kind of last half, maybe not even fully half, I'm not sure, but bit of the film is you have the, uh, well, he's the chief of police, not the sheriff, the chief of police, this, like, shark hunter guy, Quentin, Quint, 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 uh, and the, like, shark expert guy going out on Quint's boat to try to catch the shark. Uh, and some shit goes down, and I totally had, like, a Mandela effect moment with this film, because I always thought the line was, we're gonna need a bigger boat. Apparently the line is, you are gonna need a bigger boat. Uh, <laughs> Well, and I guess he does kind of say we're going to need a bigger boat, right? Like a couple of seconds later. Uh, but yeah, I guess I always had that wrong. Uh, I've been saying it wrong this whole time. But like I said, I do really like this film, even though, of course, I have some mixed feelings about, you know, kind of the portrayal of sharks uh, and the fact that it's, you know, known for scaring people. Um, because really there is nothing to be afraid of. Like, sharks are not just gonna, like, start attacking people. That doesn't really happen. Um, so I wanted to give a couple fun shark facts. Um, they, and depending on which website you look at, uh, it said about, one website said, like, 16, one said 19. So basically less than 20, uh, shark attacks in the U.S., Per year and only one fatality every two years again that's in the US I don't know about other countries like maybe like Australia I don't know what the statistics for shark attacks are there uh, but as no in the US that's what it is you're also more likely to be struck by lightning which we all know is very rare as well and you are to be attacked by sharks and more people are killed uh, or more people are involved in deaths related to deers, dogs, and cows per year. Um, oh, and uh, not a fun shark fact, but apparently, because I was looking up, cows will attack in groups. Like, they will form together to attack people, which, you know what? Good on them. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I... <laughs> I think it's a fantastic film. I mean, I, even though I do love sharks, it, I mean, it's still intense and it can be quite terrifying. Uh, I also, I did try to do a little research um, on kind of the use of sharks in this film. Obviously, I know like the big uh, great white shark is a mechanical shark that's pretty obvious to tell. Uh, and I think like everybody knows that. But, uh, the only thing that I could really find about as far as the use of sharks in this film was that Spielberg wanted to include clips of real sharks. Um, that was the only thing that I could find. I couldn't find anything, uh, about, like, any, like, sharks being killed in the making of this film or any, like, abuse of real sharks. Um, but if anybody knows, definitely let me know, because those types of things tend to change my mind about a film. Uh, but yeah, as far as I could find all good things, um, I mean, there was some, like, onset issues for other stuff throughout the film, but minimal or no shark abuse. Uh, so let me know what your thoughts are on Jaws. Is this a film that terrified you? And if you got any other fun shark facts for me, let me know in the comments below as well. Hope that you guys did enjoy this. Please do give a big old thumbs up and make sure that you hit the subscribe button for more horror-related content. And I'll see you guys later with another video. Bye!